Injuries are continuing to plague this Arizona Cardinal roster. Now, there's one specific player that I definitely want to go ahead and touch on, and that is Rondell Moore. My big question here is, is his job as good as gone? going on Arizona Sports Fan Family. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Today what I want to talk about is obviously Rondo Moore along with you know the injury report for the Arizona Cardinals. Now yesterday which was Thursday September the 15th we had a good amount of you know starters on the injury report um, you know running through like Andy Isabella, Jalen Thompson, Rondo Moore, uh, JJ Watt. Um, now just because like I mentioned before just because they're on the injury report does not mean that they're not going to play in week uh, two but they were either in a limited fashion or did not play practice. Now today, we did see J.J. Watt. It looks like he's training in the dire right direction. Uh, Zach Ertz looks like he's training in the right direction to not have a limited snap count. Um, also, Trayvon Mullen. Hopefully, fingers crossed that we're going to be able to get the help of Trayvon Mullen. Now, Andy Isabella. I did see a report out there saying that he was dealing with some back issues and it doesn't seem like he's going to be a go for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, it's not that big of a loss, right? I, I think we're all really excited about Andy Isabella because he had a really great preseason, but it doesn't look like it's going his way at all. So he might not play in week two. Another player that I definitely want to talk about is Jalen Thompson. He did practice today, so he looks like he's going to be a go, but the player that I really specifically want to talk about is Ron Del Moore. Now, he was a player that we ended up drafting uh, last year in the second round. Really, really high. Now, a lot of people called him Andy Isabella 2.0, right? And I was kind of one of those that I was not happy about this pick at all. And you can look back on my videos. I wasn't happy with that, you know, that pick. I'm, I'm sick and tired of the constant, you know, small wide receivers, the speedy wide receivers. I'm looking to get a big 6'2", 6'4", wide receiver um, to have, you know, Kyler Murray throw the ball to. And it seems like it's the same trend for the Arizona Cardinals. We're continuing to get the small, speedy wide receivers. And we're kind of looking... Like this, right? Andy Isabella was a second round pick. It doesn't really give us as much production as a lot of people would love for him to. And uh, now Rondo Moore is kind of sitting in the same situation. Now we have seen some more flashes from Rondo Moore than we have, um, you know, Andy Isabella. But one of the biggest concerns of Rondo Moore was being that was he able to stay healthy? And so far in his young career, he's not. Now there's one specific player that we've been clamoring and talking about throughout the entirety of this offseason, and that's Greg Dorch. To me, Greg Dorch, the way he's playing, he led this Arizona Cardinal team in receptions in week one. And I honestly do think that the moment that Rondo Moore is healthy and he can play, Greg Dorch should take his job. Like, automatically. We know what Greg Dorch can do. Greg Dorch is a player that is going to not stop. He's going to give you everything he, you know, um, he possibly can. And the biggest reason why is because he wasn't very, you know, uh, highly sought after, especially in the draft. He wasn't the guy that, you know, got the opportunity. He got cut on so many different teams. So, He's going to take his opportunity where he can definitely, you know, get it. And this is a perfect opportunity for Greg Dorch to definitely flourish in, in this offense. I do honestly strongly believe that, you know, Greg Dorch, this is his job with the Arizona Cardinals, primarily in the slot. And whenever we need that guy, he's going to be there for us. He so far is dependable, so far is durable, so far he could catch the ball when the ball is thrown to him. I like what Greg Dorch can deliver to this Arizona Cardinal fan base and Arizona Cardinal you know, organization just in general. So it, it really sucks, right? I think there's a lot of people that are pretty bummed out with Rondo Moore's productivity so far. The biggest problem is that you just cannot stay healthy. And we got some excitement, you know, coming into a second year, but it's only kind of leaving us with the... Uh, uh, a sense of, man, was this second round pick another whiff from, you know, Steve Kime? And that's not even to mention the other draft picks that we ended up having in this last year's draft where we're dealing with, um, you know, people like, you know, Trey McBride. We're dealing with people like, you know, Cameron Thomas, Maje Sanders, um, you know, Keontae Ingram, where there was so much hope and prayer and, and, and thoughts that these players produce year one. But truth of the matter is, I honestly feel bad for these players not getting the opportunity. And that's solely on this Cardinal organization to not give the hope and prayer to these young individuals getting, you know, getting drafted, but not giving them the opportunity. Like for example, right? For me, Trey McBride, I don't feel like it was the best pick. If you listen to Steve Kime, he did say stuff like, oh my God, I can't believe he was on the draft board. But that's the thing. Most people that don't follow the draft year after year after year and hearing what Steve Kime says, he says almost the same thing every single year. Trey McBride probably wasn't the best 
pick up in the second round and here's the biggest reason why he's not going to be able to produce for this Arizona Cardinal team until maybe next year now we might see some flashes of him this year like if we have injuries right like if Max Williams can't stay healthy um, if Zach Ertz goes down then we can possibly see Trey McBride but we're seeing a tight end group right now that doesn't have a lot of room for growth same thing with you know Cameron Thomas or Maje Sanders I really did think that we're going to start seeing a lot of these young players uh, because why the heck not right we got rid of Chandler Jones we're dealing with Marcus Golden we have Dennis Gardick which are really cool players to watch and a lot of fans are really kind of on their corner but why not give the opportunity to Cameron Thomas why not give the opportunity to to Maje Sanders Victor Dimikichi stuff like that because that's what I would love to see I want to see this Arizona Cardinal organization start developing these young um, players that we're drafting Keontae Ingram had some really good flashes but another player that probably won't succeed with the Arizona Cardinals because it's just so so darn congested in that group. I know, you know, Steve Kime says we, we dropped the best player available. At this point, he's been doing it so long that's all he knows he doesn't know that we need to get these players that are going to start producing year one and even if they struggle year one at least by year two we can have a, a, a kind of a, a better idea of if they're going to shake out in the NFL because Isaiah Simmons was robbed in his rookie year Zayvon Collins was robbed in his rookie year starting this year and we are you know seeing some moments of man he doesn't look too good, but there are some little flashes here and there on Zayvon Collins. But if you take a look on the other side with Isaiah Simmons, he's absolutely struggling with covering tight ends. And that's why he was brought in here for, right? Now, I understand it's probably hard to, to put Isaiah Simmons in that boat because Isaiah Simmons was, was guarding one of the best tight ends in NFL right now, and that's Travis Kelsey. So we might give him a flyer for week one, but let's take a look to see what he's going to do against, you know, week two and week three. The jury isn't quite out as of right now, but... So far, the you know Arizona Cardinals draft picks that were led by Steve Kime has not shaken out so far for this Arizona Cardinal team. So Rondo Moore, coming back to him, I think it's very unfortunate in what he's going through right now. I am on his corner, but if he does get healthy, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to see him. I want to see Greg Dortch. Let me know if you guys feel the exact same way. If not, no worries. Let me know in the comments below. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, go Cards.